when people talk about Leonardo da Vinci and when they talk about Jackson Pollock, they will also mention Jean-Michel Basquiat. When I first met him, just a few months short of 16, he was living on the street, staying with God knows who. The streets are so intimate. You could just sit on a bench and meet somebody. You could spend the whole day with you, didn't even know who they were. We came up with this thing, Samo, you know, this is the same old. Samo, S-A-M-O, come on, you've seen it on the walls. This gentleman right here is Samo. Samo was part of a conversation happening in New York. The city was burning down, literally. The murder rate was at its highest point ever. People were really angry at the establishment. The eruption of graffiti inspired a lot of younger artists to take control over that situation on their own terms. What Basquiat understood was the nature of public space. His work was a texture of the city around it. He was discovering his own art form. The walls and floor were his canvas. He was into letting art be itself, and that's why his work was very crude and childlike in some ways. The first time I saw his graffiti, I said to him, you know, you're going to be as big as Andy Warhol. At a certain point, John just took off, and you knew he was not coming back. John knew that he only had a limited amount of time. And I think that's what kept his wheels turning faster than everybody else. What an example of a true investigator of visual ideas, language, or music. Jean-Michel, with his work, had an effect on everybody that saw it.